Hello everybody. This is Professor Ganesh Rathod from Dr. J.J. Magdum College of Engineering, Jaisingpur. And today I am going to explain about the wireless cellular concepts. Let us see the definition of a cell. Actual coverage of a mobile base station is called as a cell. That is, for every cell there will be one base station exactly at the center. The concept of cellular telephone service was first proposed in 1940. A cellular concept would provide a method by which frequency reuse could be maximized, thus in essence multiplying the number of available channels in particular geographical location. The first proposed system was proposed by AT&T and Bell company which would use many lower power transmitters with antennas mounted on Sh shorter towers to provide much shorter frequency reuse distance. The area served by each transmitter would be considered a cell. Before understanding the technical characteristics of frequency reuse and reuse number, it is helpful to define the hierarchical structure of today's cell sizes. The wireless industries has more or less settled on a particular names to indicate the size of a cell. Going from a smallest to largest cells that are cells that are less than having a 10 meters in diameters are known as pico cells. Cells with a diameter between 100 to 1000 meters are known as micro cells. And the cells greater than 1000 meters in diameter are known as micro cells. Although the terms have not been universal yet, cells with global coverage have been referred to as mega cells and very small cells is referred as femtocells. As you can see in the figure, there are hexagonal cells for theoretical coverage and there are circular shaped cells for ideal coverage. Since every base station uses unidirectional antennas, it radiates signals at 360 degrees. So ideal coverage would be circular. But you might be puzzled by the circular, uh, cellular industry, the choice of hexagonal as shown in the figure A. Any initial consideration of a shape to use of a typical cell must be considered with the fact that a true circular coverage area is rarely obtained in practice. Propagation conditions, environmental conditions contribute to the distortion of the antenna's radiation pattern and hence coverage area. Furthermore, using circles to lay out a network coverage area leaves gaps between the adjacent cells or ambiguous areas if the circles are overlapped. Referring to the figure A, one can see that the use of hexagonal, however, allows the complete theoretical coverage of an area without any overlapping cells or gaps in the coverage. Squares or equilateral triangles could also be used but the hexagonal is the closest approximation of, to a circle. The use of hexagonals also makes the theoretical calculation of several system parameters much easier. Figure C as you can see the actual coverage area which is amorphous in nature that is there is no shape so there are th these three are the uh, coverage areas shapes that is figure number a theoretical coverage b is an ideal coverage and c is a real coverage next we will see the frequency reuse or frequency planning in attempt to gain the maximum reuse of frequencies for a cellular system, cells are arranged in clusters. To determine the minimum size cluster that can be used, it is necessary to calculate the interference levels generated by co-channel cells. Since there are several options to the size of the cellular clusters, a relationship to determine the reuse distance can be determined that relates cluster size, cell radius and reuse distance. The frequency reuse distance can be calculated by d is equal to 
r into 3n raised to 1 by 2 or d is equal to r into square root of 3n where r is equal r is nothing but a cell radius and n is nothing but a reuse pattern or cluster size in this slide you can see the different cluster size that is the cluster size of 3 that is n is equal to 3 a cluster size of 7 a cluster size of 4 and a cluster size of 9 Frequency reuse implies that in a given coverage area there are several cells that use the same set of frequencies. Since we have very limited number of frequency spectrum, so frequency has to be reused by the cells. So cells that is using the uh, same set of frequencies are called as co-channel cells. And the interference between the signals from these cells is called as co-channel interference. Here in this figure you can see that a cluster size of 7 is there and each, each cell is using different frequencies. For simplicity every cell is being colored with different colors. So different colors means they are using different frequencies. So same set, same colors in the sense these cells are the co-channel cells that is they are using the same set of frequencies. So to avoid the interference, so these co-channel cells has to be at a distance d. So using the re uh, reuse distance formula, I can say that these cells that is orange cells in this example, orange cells are using the same set of frequencies and both are at a distance d using our reuse distance formula. Similarly, I can tell about this blue color or pink color. That is wherever you are seeing in this diagram, the same colors means they are nothing but the co-channel cells we are, which are using the same set of frequencies. In order to connect without gaps between the adjacent cell, the geometry of the cell is such that the number of cells per cluster n can have the values which satisfy n is equal to i square plus ij plus ij square where i and j are non-negative integers. To find the nearest co-channel neighbors of a particular cell one must do the following that is it, they have to move i cells along any chain of hexagonals. Next thing they have to turn 60 degree counterclockwise and move j cells. So let us see with the example. So here n is having that is a cluster size is 19 that is i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 2. If I take i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 3 I obtain the cluster size of 19. As you can see in the previous slide that is i and j can be any non-negative integers. If i is equal to 3 and j is equal to 2 I will obtain the value n is equal to 19. So to find the co-channel cells, that is a cell which is using the same set of frequency. Say here it is been named as alphabet number A. So A wherever you are seeing they are the co-channel cells which is using the same set of frequencies. So to, uh, to, uh, to identify these co-channel cells or to locate these co-channel cells, the formula is, the steps or uh, is that I have to move I in the i cells that is in, in i have to choose any uh, direction of hexagonal and i have to move i cells so in this case i value is 3 so i will uh, suppose i choose this chain so i move I, uh, in this direction that is i cells that is 1 2 and 3 second step is turn counterclockwise and then move j cells that is j value is 2 1 and 2 i will find the co-channel cells which is using the same set of frequency. Similarly if I uh, if I go in this chain of hexagonal so I value is 3 so I move I cells first in this direction that is 1 2 and 3 turn counterclockwise and then I move J cells that is 1 and 2 I will found A. Similarly if I go in this direction I will find the co-channel cells. Similarly this this and this. So you can move in any chain of an hexagonal and you can move 
I cells turn con uh, co uh, turn uh, counter clockwise and then move J cells. Then you will find the co-channel cells. Here is another example where I if I take I is equal to one and J is equal to one, the cluster size will be three. To so uh, to find the co-channel cells, I have to move I cells. So suppose in this direction I cells turn counter uh, counterclockwise and move J cells. That is one. So I'll find it. So let us see an example to find the reuse distance. That is for a mobile station. If the cluster size is seven, determine the frequency reuse distance if the cell radius is five kilometers. So here. What I have to do is, so here you can see the cluster size is 7. So all the cells uh, with the different colors are using different frequencies. Whereas the uh, same uh, same colors are using the same, uh, that is same set of frequency. They are the co-channel cells. So I have to find what is the distance between the co-channel cells. That is like uh, if I take the, this is blue color, what is this distance? What is this distance? Or for that matter, if I take the pink color, what is this distance? So let us apply the formula. That is, the cluster size is given that is capital N is equal to 7 and the radius they are given is 5 kilometers. Frequency reuse distance formula is D is equal to R into 3, 3N raised to 1 by 2. So if I apply the values, so I will give, uh, I will get the distance that is 22.913 kilometers. So at this distance, uh, all the co-channels are being separated to avoid the what interference so all this blue colors or blink colors whatever it is so you can see here green color so they are at a distance that is this one 22.913 kilometers so with this we came to know, uh, we came to know about the frequency reuse and cellular concepts thank you very much